today sees the publication of the report from the independent review group into child deaths. That is, deaths of children who were in care, in aftercare, or who were known in some way to the state's child welfare and protection services. On the occasion of the publication of this report, my thoughts are with the families of these children, of the people who knew these children, and the foster carers and workers who strived so hard to support them. I do hope that these families do not find today's publication too intrusive. It is, however, essential that we learn from the tragic circumstances of these lives. I accept the report. It's complex, it's detailed, it's incisive. The recommendations will help inform the reform programme of children and family services already underway. The headline recommendations are already uh, being taken forward as part of that change management programme. I am determined that my sole focus will be on ensuring that children and family services are more responsive, are more inclusive and become an utterly reliable partner to all of the other agencies seeking to support children. We cannot, however, do that alone. We require, as the report says, effective multidisciplinary working, and I hope that all agencies will look at their approach to children. Children should be seen and heard in modern Ireland in order that their needs are fully met and that they are healthy, that they are loved, and that they are educated to their full potential. I ask staff that they consider the contents of this report with great care. It is important that in the sad minority of cases where our service was less than satisfactory, we look at the circumstances of that and seek to rectify it. I also acknowledge, however, the hard work and dedication of many staff. Some of that is reflected in this report and, of course, the work of staff for the vast majority of children who come to the attention of the state and are supported. The vast majority of staff who thrive with dedicated foster carers, supported by social workers and other professionals and with the assistance of the voluntary and community sector. As we move towards new relationships in 2013, children and family services will move slightly apart from the health service. However, it's crucial that we still accept that child protection and welfare is everyone's responsibility and that we strengthen our interdisciplinary working and relationships and we make sure that at all times we always put children first. Thank you.